Hey guys, Brad Matt here. Welcome back to my another normal combat uh nine video for the PlayStation 3. Here's the new Cybot. Which is the original Sub Zero. Um this is the first costume in this game though. And there's this uh foul damage. Like I said, guys, if y'all want to worry about his uh, origin story, like, we did with those other characters, so, like, I mean, like, what y'all did during possibly the, the last video, so I don't care if y'all, I can do read that. So, uh, I don't read that much on YouTube. And here is the boy of Raiden, I mean, Richard Eckhart. Y'all, I don't know who I might talk about. I'm talking about the guy who just plays Raiden and Joker from Injustice, Injust One and Injustice Two. And also, he did do the course of Joker and Injustice One. So yeah, um, anyway, here's his battle damage. It's fine. A little bit of his ear. So yeah, um, here's his orb story. Y'all want to uh, read that? Yes, guys, at the end of the video, we will, um, show you guys what the, the costume looks like. Here is, oh, goodness gracious. Rep how? Look at this ugly boy. Look at that! That's, you know, like, like, um, Yoshi for a bit from, uh, Super Mario. Yeah, guys, uh, this is his bow damage. That's what his mouth looks like. If y'all want to see his, um, if y'all want to read this or story, y'all can go ahead and, uh, read it during, pause the video and read it. I don't care. Alrighty then, um. Here is Scorpion. The character I don't even that play that much, I'm gonna look up at 11. There, there's this, um, kind of like the more kind of DC look. But yes, there's this battle damage suit. And look at that skull right there. Look at that skeleton eye and mouth. There's this, uh, there's the bruise, there's the scars, tear of face. Y'all want to read his, uh, origin story? Y'all can go ahead and do that right now. Like, pause the video, I don't care what y'all do, though, uh, anyway, we are going to go on to the next character, so guys, if you want to pause the video to read the bio, though, I don't care, here is Sector, the other machine, that is the red version, who kind of looks like Iron Man a bit, but there's this, uh, dreadlock. Here's his battle damage. There's his origin story. If y'all want to read that, possibly I'll read it. If you want to read it, like I said, I don't care if you guys read it or not. Alright. We are going to go on Shang Tsung that we actually did do a gameplay of a few weeks ago on Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah, this is just, um, kind of like that suit costume we have for more coming for DC. But she only, like, went to all the characters, only, like, wear one of them. And, oh, I just feel like he had a fame that's coming out, like a pumped out fame. But yes, there's his bow damage. Look at that frame there. Look at that. There's his fucked up eye. Half of his lip is missing, like, there's his origin story, if y'all want to read his origin story, y'all can go ahead, like, pause the video, and do that. We're going to go with Shiva, which, I might think she might be DLC on more Covenant 11, and I have never seen this post before. That's pretty cool. Here's her battle damage. 
I'm gonna look. Look at that chest, though. Oh, half of her horn is missing. Temporary. Bye. I, I don't know what you call this attire, though. To me, it just looks like a strap on thong. Though, I might play as Shiva, like, sometimes, like, when I feel like it. Here's her origin story, if y'all want to go ahead and check that out. Y'all can pause the video during this video while I'm, like, reading this video. Like, making this video. I don't care what y'all do. And a little fun fact about her in Mortal Kombat 11, she's a good guy. And we just don't want to talk to person now. Alright, let's check out the first costume. Alright then, here is Sindel. I actually played that during the game though. I did the power. Why well, I do that like with all the characters though? Probably I might do like a like show you guys what the how how their innings pretty good are. Sure for battle damage. Her eyes like singing like Johnny Cage. Bruce almost next to the hip. Now, and here's her origin story, if y'all want to read that. Pause the video. Don't care. And I'm pretty excited about her, um, about Sinel coming back to Mortal Kombat 11. Which we will, probably, she might be the next DLC character, I'm not for sure. And here is the handsome, gorgeous bastard here. Smoke with that long ass hair. So here is Smoke, the friend of Sub Zero. There's his bio. Y'all want to pause that and read that? Y'all can go ahead right now and do it. Here is his fucked upness. The big ass bruise on his arm. The blood on the, like, the little strapped on skirt. I don't know what you call it though. I, I just call it, a, a, it looks like a skirt. There's his eye that's popping out. There's this friggin' half meat face. Not talking about the character from, uh, not the meat character from, uh, more coming on getting. And here is, yes, Soya Freaking Blade. Um, uh, Cop from, uh, one of this version. Who is not voiced by Mark Rousey except for Mortal Kombat 11. And here is her. Okay, I got man, that was kinda hot. Not a big further though. Foul damage. There's her origin story. You know, if y'all wanna pause that, you can go ahead and read that. Here's time of her boob. Oh wait. There's a little sh oh jeez. I I I when I looked at Sonya Blade all the time in this game though, like I don't know how her skin was about to come off though. Ooh. Ooh, wow, 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 which I can perform a combat. So, now, anyway, um, to me, he does not even like John Steele for a bit. Looks like Rob Derrick, and some of y'all know who I'm talking about from, uh, if y'all actually never seen him on, uh, Ridiculousness, y'all can go ahead and watch the show now. It's on MTV, it's pretty good. And here it says Battle Damage. Now, look at that. See, look at that. You don't see that bow sticking out of his but his shin. Now, to me, look at this beast suit. Does he not like the one from, uh, or not I eat? There's this, whatever, pogo sticks, dildos, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. And yes, guys, to me, he still looks like John Cena, so, in, in this game. And here's his, um, origin story, if y'all want to read that. Y'all can go ahead and pause the the damn video and do that though. 
Hey, folks, we strike a roll Mortal Kombat 11 at DLC, ladies and gents. If y'all want to see him as Revenant form, that would be really cool if he would be in Revenant form on Mortal Kombat 11. Alright then. We got Sub Zero. Who is not voiced by Stephen Bloom. Blum, or wherever. I forgot what the last time I pronounced the last thing. I got Terrence with solid damage. Uh, I just realized he's missing ha his other eye. Damn, dude, that's it. That looks fucked up. But here's his origin story. Y'all want to, um, uh, pause the video, read it, don't care who, er, it's, uh, it's up to you guys if y'all want to read it, what the origin story is. Cyber Sub Zero, okay. I forgot to tell you guys that Sub that there was a another Sub Zero in the game though that who got turned into a robot. But yeah, Terry's his, his brain though. His eyes missing. Does he know like a blue and white version of a uh, Sector and Cyrax? There's his origin story, y'all wanna read that, I don't care, you can pause the video you like. It's up to you guys, I don't I can care what you guys do. And here is the last but not least character who's not even in World Cup at eleven. Cron Chi Chi. There's the style damage. So yeah, um, a little blood splattered on the knee pad, having his eyes missing. There's this origin story, y'all want to read that, y'all can go ahead, and I don't actually care. Now, let's get to the other costumes, though. And I don't know why they did not add the DLC costumes on these two, though, like, the classic Sub-Zero without the mask on, the classic Cyber Sub-Zero, um, anyway. Let's go ahead and check out, uh, Striker's ultimate costume, though. Yeah, uh, anyway, here it is. Maybe all y'all have seen this costume before. And, yes, you did see it from the story mode. We play as him on Striker 12. There's his fucked up eye. There's his bone sticking out. Y'all can still go ahead and read his, uh, origin story. I, it's up to you guys. I don't have the cost for uh, some of these characters yet, but I will try to get all the costumes I want. I might get all the characters, DLC characters. Here is uh, this other costume for uh, Sindel. There's a oh god, fucked up eye though. And you can see I have her butt cheek, and there's some bruise on the booty cheek. Y'all still read her uh, origin story. A, hey, which I'm not going to tell you guys. Hey, wait. Oh, yeah, Sector does have another costume. I forgot I unlocked the costume for him. Alright, then. Here is the human one. There's his fucked up face. His whole freaking body, though. Great as origin story. Pause the video you guys like. It's up to you. I don't know what I'm going to have it for. Oh, yeah, Nightwolf. I forgot. I got a cost for Nightwolf. And Melina. So, yeah, um, anyway. Hey, this is what Nightwolf looks like. Damn, he is small. There is this fucked up man. Y'all know how I made this, uh, origin story for this one. Pause for you if you like. 